So this question is in relationship to these two charts over here. We have a pie graph or pie chart, and we also have a table. Anytime I see visual information, I consider the question to be a diagram question. All that means is that I'm going to source the information for my answer, typically from the diagrams that have been provided. Um, because we already read this for the previous question, I'm not going to go over all of it in terms of all the reading, but we do know that this pie chart has our survey results for the preference of 100 travel agents on ranking airlines A, B, and C. And we have here the average rating of airlines A, B, and C over five separate categories, okay? So this question says airline B's average rating for convenience, okay, what is airline B's average rating for convenience? That would be right here, so that's eight was approximately what percent greater than airline A's average rating for convenience? Let me just put, so this is B. Average airline A's average rating for convenience is 5.1. So A is 5.1. So what percent greater is 8 than 5.1? So one way to do that is to say, well, uh, 5.1 times X is equal to 8. This X is going to give us the percentage increase, and I'll show you how. So when I divide both sides by 5.1, and you go to your calculator, which you'll have on your screen when you take the test, we have 8 divided by 5.1. What I get is 100 and, I'm sorry, 1 point, getting ahead of myself, 1.568, so we'll just call it 1.57, so X is equal to 1.57. So when we're trying to find percent increase, what you should do is, first of all, your percent increase will always be a number greater than one, right? So the way we break this down, this is a one and this is a 0 0.57. This one represents 100%, just meaning if we went from 5.1, if A was 5.1 and B was also 5.1, you'd have 100%, right? B's at rating would be 100% of A's rating. This extra 0 0.57 is the increase. It's in addition to, right? So plus. This 0 0.57 is in addition to the 100%. We convert decimals into percentages by moving the decimal place to the right two times. So this is 57%. So the percent increase, right? So the percent on top of the 100%, above and beyond the 100%, is the 57%. So 57% is our correct answer here. So we would bubble in this option here.